This is member 239 of the Cape and Squiggle Membership Society, Lodge 44, relaying, as required by Society Regs, the latest report from member 1. Today is Swan Day, huh? 62nd day of rotation, rotation 33,458 ADC. Okay, good, okay, so. So member one, so member one. So, member one. Member one reports that last Mallard Day, with the assistance of Cape and Squiggle Membership Society Lodges 5, and 34, he completed excavation in the northern range of a spaceship constructed some 1.5 billion rotations ago by the dinosaur aristocracy of that period. Member one reports that it was with this spaceship that he hoped to regain his lost powers by using it to go in search of the yellow sun. Member one reports that he's pretty sure his powers all had to do with the yellowness our son once had, but doesn't anymore due to its becoming so very much redder in the last million rotations or so. Member one reports that he can't remember what a mission meant so much to him, and he reports that that he is sorry. Member one reports that this was his final mission, and and he hereby moves, given the authority and privilege granted him by our body, that upon dissemination of this report, the Red Cape and Squiggle Membership Society be disbanded. Ah. Oh. Okay. That's it. We can switch to his voice now. <laughs> Report number 93,402. The ship was still in excellent condition. No surprise, the dinosaurs of the second age were perhaps the finest builders of interstellar spacecraft in history. Being descended from birds, I think they were born yearning for flight. Ah, uh, birds. Those were those flying at the last time I was trying to describe to all of you. I will draw you a picture. They're too long gone. Back when I could fly, I seem to remember always being mistaken for one. <laughs> what happened could that be? Seems ridiculous. At any rate, yes, the dinosaurs of that time made ships like no others out of the bodies of their slave class, the lumbering sauropods, genetically manipulating their bone marrow to produce concentrated helium. In the air sacs of the vertebrae, a string of super balloons along the spine, there's not a more gentle way to slip the pole of the planet. Awesome from up here. They had given me a gift yeah. for something or other I did for them, then left in their fleet for distant, unnamed stars. I don't remember why they left. I guess that's just what dinosaurs do. They come and they go. Member members of members of the company members are similar. They go and they come. No, why? 
No, Reese. Only recently I have been to show and that I had kept in a display room in a home I had at the time up in the north. That's what I am. The excavation teams are looking for these past exactly. rotations. We finally unearthed it as reported by some member. Of course, I lost the key to the front door. <laughs> we had to pick the lock. But there, 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 there it was. In the dust and 